All right, here we go. Uh, hi guys, it's Holden Rise of Weird here. After a long while, that I could keep going to the campaign here. And we're going to do whoopsie wrong section here. Uh, we're going to do a heart of the matter. I have beaten this about four times now, so I have the general strategy nailed down. Um, there's someone who made an original comment in my practice run who I want to thank for giving me the idea of the air transports and then also I remembered I have a uh, guide that came with my copy of the game that explained it pretty well. So I'll do this one next after I finish uh, this one up. That looks good, same settings. Alright. First things first, we'll start with the top section. Okay, yeah. So what you want to do is, generally this top section is meant to help reinforce this bottom section. Take pressure off it, you know, something like it, whatever, anything like that. So we're going to use the air units plant, which is definitely the most important thing up here, to build some air transports. So usually two or two should be fine. But three wouldn't be that bad either. And then probably a couple fighters. I don't usually, you could get an AWAC or Grand Attack Plane. Grand Attack Plane would not be a bad idea for up top, but it's not overly important because what you'll be doing with your air transports is you'll be using them to unload and load tanks. And the tanks will effectively, with the air transport, function better than your Grand Attack Plane. So, and then what you want to do with the training hall or the heavy vehicle point is up to you. It's not overly important that you use either one, but you do want to try to use it to make something out of it. Uh, you could make a missile crawler to try to shoot scouts or scanners from a distance safely, so you can make make, make it harder for them to target you, which isn't a bad idea. You could just make more tanks. Or maybe a constructor and try to get a factory built, like a light vehicle plant down in the south, and then produce more defenses, maybe, or something like that. I wouldn't recommend the rocket launcher or the assault gun. The range is too short for the, at least the rocket launcher. They can hit clumsy units, but the assault gun has seven range, and that lack of movement speed is not going to do anything. And the assault gun has would definitely be a better choice, but the problem is the range. It can be easily be outranged, and when it fires a shot, you lose half your speed, so you wouldn't be really be safe. Scouts would be better than an assault gun in this case. So I'm thinking, usually you can build one of these at twice the speed to get it out really quick, to get it ready for later, to target scanners, and then maybe you can just put tanks on repeat or something like that. So this is something you want to keep an eye on. You'll lose uh, raw material when you do something like this, so if you want to use world plants. And this is what your supply truck is for. So just, when this gets low, uh, just use the supply truck and fill it back up. So I'm just going to leave it in there for that reason. Alright, so... Let's move this up, start getting this ready. And just center right down. So in between the north complex and the south complex, you have about let's see, was that one green arrow? That's almost the second one. So about three turns to get from here back. Keep that in mind when you're transporting units. And then I'll get these tanks and line them up. Actually, I'll use. All right. So usually you want some more tanks down here, so the air transport can just take them down. 
but also what I recommend you do is get some units going down this side the right side of your base and some down the left side of your base left side will mostly be the scanner and repair unit that are up here with some tanks to flank blues uh, forces that will be coming up here and to help uh, uh, get some uh, what am I trying to say less pressure on your research center and the right units you can have just a little less but not too much mostly this is sending units down the right path is because of they'll send assault guns and scouts up this way and you'd rather in this uh, you don't want to lose your north complex because in my last run I lost a heavy vehicle plant because I didn't uh, have enough defense up here so you want some like a couple scouts and tank down here a tank or two down here just to hold them off and if you can push further down the path the better you're off the better off you are And if you need to do some defense, leaving a tank and a scout behind isn't a bad idea. Right, let's just load these units in. Alright, how many tanks are in there? Three, so let's send you guys off that way. Actually, I believe these tanks here, because the air transport will take them off. Alright, that'll be enough. So I'll send these units off to hold off their assault. Repair unit and scanner will go down this way. Alright, so now that you got your north section sort of sorted out, um, I can go to the bottom section. Uh, usually you'll see scouts in this lake. Uh, Corazon, they called it. Uh, yes, that. And then you'll have blue come from the left side on the uh, south complex and green from the right. Uh, both sides just spam one unit for the most part. Green will have a lot of assault, upgraded assault guns, and blue will have a lot of upgraded missile crawlers. They'll both use scouts and scanners, but they each have like a special unit type. So what you can sort of do to start is, what I saw in a guide is get some, I say saw in a guide because let's be honest, that's where I got it from. Uh, moves, get like some units in little corners up here to see if you can get choke points. So get a tank, you know, something up here. And then these units you can probably send wherever really, but put a tank right here and a scout right here in this little corner. Because they'll send uh, some scouts and if they get two units that get too close, you can use your scout to attack and then your tank to sh uh, finish them off. Kind of, uh, it's sort of like if you saw my video on the Faust and Furious mission where you use the scout to hit the assault gun and then use your assault gun to finish them off. It's basically just like that. And then, see I got all my corners set up. Uh, you can send it up here. And for the last little bit, you have your research center itself. This is what you have to protect for 30 turns. Even if you lose the rest of the space, it doesn't matter. Like, this has to stay alive above all else. Uh, research wise, it's not that important too much. You have 30 turns, so you really can't, you know, research, range, scan, or cost because you'll be done by then. So, what I like doing is hits, and you can use this uh, extra hits to get your fighters to be able to withstand fighter shots from enemy fighters later instead of just dying in one hit. So, there's a little bit of an advantage you can use for this. So start with hits. You don't have to really upgrade too much of anything, like buildings, like 
You can upgrade these buildings for a little bit of extra protection, but you don't need to like upgrade every single thing. It's mostly just for UU units. So with that set up, we'll continue. So they will send scouts earlier, but Green will start amassing assault guns around turn four or five that you'll be able to see them. And blue will usually come about four to five turns later. So generally turns four and five, even turn three for green attacking you on the right side with assault guns. And blue will shove around turn nine or 10 or 11 to attack you from the left. All right, so let's keep going. Right, yeah, there's the scouts in the lake. They'll usually hang out here. They won't do a whole lot, but they'll just hang out. That actually works out. I'll just leave them. Leave those guys here. And the reason I say spring the scanner on the left side is because you can see the missile crawlers before they fire at you. And that then you can use your air transport with the tanks and take them out and then load the tanks back into the air transport. So they're kind of like a roadblock in a way, more than an actual attacking force. All right, so let's do... Okay, let's... I sometimes will do stuff like this, but it's nothing to be worried about too much. Although it is a concern because they can come into your back and shoot your lighter units. I'm gonna send my scanner out a little bit and see if I can see anyone. No, because the radar can not see that. No. So let's keep going this way. I'll probably all back up from the scout, even the tanks. And that should be okay. Just leave those tanks there for transport. This missile crawler will be ready when the next air transport after this one is built. Alright, so my first transport is here. Okay, so maybe it's two turns. Like, t it's two to three turns we're getting from the top to the bottom with the air transport. So, and I'll show you the main uh, tactic for this video, which is most is the using of uh, the use of air transports to drop tanks in to shoot the enemy, and then load them back in. Because it's pretty much what you have to do for like this whole mission. Because if you try sending all your units and don't load the right units into the transport or something like that, then you'll basically do what happened in my practice run where I didn't know it. I just 
went in completely blind and ignored a couple basic things, and then completely lost. So load the next transport up. Move that back. But one of the issues with not having a scanner this way is you can't see if assault guns have, with their own scouts or scanners can move up and snipe your scout without your tanks being able to react. But here we go. Here's the. Aside from that note, here's the uh, tr strategy of the air transporter in a nutshell. So once you destroy what you want to or attack what you want to, load it back up and then move it where you need to. Uh, definitely keep an eye on the speed of your air transport. You gen when you sh uh, use the tanks and then have them shoot, you want to be able to have enough movement speed to load the unit back into the transport so it doesn't get you know shot down. Unless you need it to be a meat shield. But usually in that kit is... A oh, oh, sorry. Uh, I overstepped myself. What I mean by meat shield in that case is that yeah, if you're worried about the assault guns attacking, like a building that's important, then you leave the tank there so it can get shot, so the research center doesn't get blown up or something like that. That's what I meant to say there. But here is the assault guns, they're starting to show up. Uh, if you'll notice some of the numbers on these, 67. Unless this is some random number generator, which I doubt with how this game works, is that you have, they have a lot of assault guns. Like by turn 10, you'll be have around something like 50, maybe not 50, sorry, like 25 assault gun casualties for them. So like just like Fast and Furious that I did in that mission, use your scout and then use the tank. Just like that. So I guess another piece of advice I can give right here is that sometimes your scouts will, can be good cannon fodder. I know that sounds kind of weird when I put it like that, but if you need something for the assault guns to shoot and you don't want it to be your tank, so your tanks can do soak up more of the damage and you know defeat the enemy, then sometimes sacrificing a scout isn't the worst thing that will happen to you. See, it's better to lose a scout than a tank. I guess that was what I'm trying to say. There we go, load everything in. Uh, 
I don't think it'll be coming up this way, but I'll leave it there just in case. Well, not like this way, but this way over here. Uh, around this rock formation. She says you start seeing a lot more assault guns, and they should just like show up in mat like, like eight, nine on your screen is an uncommon. Okay, I expected more to show up actually. Usually they show up with more. It looks like we have a scanner here. So I don't know if Lou might actually be pushing up quicker than I expected. Because usually they won't come until a little uh, later after Green has started their assault. I'll leave this here, this will still be fine. I'll bring this air transport over here, just in case they are this close already, because I'm not sure. Okay, that's weird. I'm this far up, around turn 5 or 6, and they still haven't... Okay, something's up. I don't like it. I guess what I'm concerned about is this is a little strange for the AI. Like, the other four practice runs I've done, green shows up quicker. But it looks like they already do have missile crawlers up this close so, which is not good that's definitely way shorter than the predictions I had because usually in my games that's what's happened in the past you know four times so I have the missile crawler up here now you could do your infiltrator or more tanks or something like that if you want that's really up to you. But I say you could even get an infiltrator or just maybe another even missile crawler for um Oh, uh, what I was trying to think of. I uh, get like take down scanners in one assault air air transport raid and do it that way but i'll just take a slightly safer route and just uh do this just build tanks on repeat at one speed because it only uses three so i could stop it whenever i need to and still save uh uh fuel for their units plant so i'm gonna definitely deal with this first because green's taking forever for some reason. Okay, they are already here. That is quick. That, that is definitely very quick. So, blue might attack the same time green does. But, like, maybe not four or five turns later, but one to two. So, I guess the thing I just want to say to keep in mind is that the AI can vary. They aren't the same every run, but there is a general strategy that usually happens uh, for what they do every run. But specifics are different. Because there is a concern that, you know, someone could watch this and be like, well, this happened on this turn or something like that, and it's, you know. But, you know, false impressions and all that. in my tank I'm not dropping anything just yet so try to figure out where green is
normally you shouldn't be searching with an air transport like that, but normally they're already up here. I guess they saw my other four practice runs and decided to switch it up. Oh, here's green. This is actually kind of funny. Oh, there it is. Up there. Okay, so they already know about the Northern Complex. And they're going up there, I guess, but... This is weird. I'm not going to be able to move to that assault gun in time. Alright, it's two. So what I'm going to try to do is move my tanks up. Like that. So that way if they try to get up here, I can kind of cut them off. I don't know how well that will work, but... Oh, that's two turns, so I'm actually going to move this up here. I'm to take pop shots at the tank this time. Oops, I didn't mean to click that far. I'm actually just going to bring this air transport over here. Because I have this one coming. And also, if it's going to take this long for green to show up, I may as well try to, you know, get rid of this mess. Actually, pull back a bit further. I'm going to send this tank up to try to get this out of the way. Move back, and then if I can get rid of the scouts, it'll be easier for me. So there's still units back there that I haven't fired. I know they're up here. So if they're attacking me, they have to be in, you know, they can't be like slightly further than that coastline over there. I just really hope Green's not sending like, you know, their entire force up north. Oh no, they pulled back a little. Ah, that's how they could see me. Okay, they have a scanner up here. Alright, took care of those assault guns, so that intercept force is working very well. So my hits has been completed. So I could go for something like, you know, armor. Or even attack if I felt like I could try to do that. But I'll just go for armor next so it applies to the tanks. But I'll upgrade um, these buildings down here just in case. I don't have enough raw material to upgrade. That's fine. This will produce enough.
I don't see a missile crawler up this way. Oh, never mind, I do. I don't want to move diagonally because I'll use up all my movement. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, green's doing some. Feels like I don't know what's up with green. I killed five assault guns and two scouts. Do a nice little flank over here. But yeah, something definitely feels up. And if I want to, I could send them back to the depot. Extra air transports arrived. So you probably two extra air transports would be fine. I guess a third one is if you felt like ferrying some of these troops around. Which it wouldn't be a bad idea. I guess I'm sort of saying with like the air transport and tank strategy is that you really don't need to worry about um, ground attack points a whole lot because you can just use your air transports like makeshift ground attack planes and because they can hold three tanks you know which is six shots total they function better than a ground attack plane in this scenario actually, i actually have an idea I'm just gonna hide the air transport in the hangar and then have that be the defense Okay, so they're sending mobile anti-aircraft. This is something you will see from both uh, enemies, is that they'll try to send these up, mostly, I think, to... Because they know, I guess they know you have an air unit's plan, but mostly to stop your air transports. These don't work. They don't really... Um, they'll move them, so, like, very often. So they'll never have a shot, so they rarely will ever fire an anti-aircraft. Usually never. Because all you have to do is just... They'll move, they'll be out of shots, and then you can just... You know, ride in with your tank and then shoot them down. Like, they don't really pose a threat unless you, in a in unknowingly, intentionally let them do it. I guess is how I try to put that. So that one doesn't have a shot, so I can. I guess if you want to see this, if you still can fire, make sure you use this status button. Uh, that little green arrow means they can move, and that bullet means they can shoot. But I definitely do want to get rid of that. Okay, so sometimes they'll send tanks too. And the tanks are they're really, they're weaker than yours. And I wouldn't really worry about them too much. I'd say focus more on the missile crawlers and their uh, scouts and scanners first before you, um... Oops, I forgot to kill the scout. My bad. So they can see, but the question is, can they shoot? I 
If that moves in range, yes. All right, hold on. Got to pull back a little bit here. I used a tank movement speed there to make sure I'd kill that scout off. You know, be safe and all that. So you'll see them start using their own air transports and they'll mostly try to use these to get some of their own units around. Usually they'll, they won't really airdrop the units here. They'll send them up here. And that's where I found they'll do it the most and it's really weird. A little bit because they'll try to destroy that complex even when they're supposed to destroy this. Like, I get destroying this could help, would help out a lot, but this is where most of it is, so this is, you know, their main focal point. I still haven't seen Green's Assault Guns. Keep in mind, this is turn 11. Green's main attack force is still on my A. They might be trying to transport missile crawlers in here. Because I'm not seeing where most of our units went. Unless they're still over here. I could use a scanner for that, duh. Sorry. This is weird. Nope, here they come. Now we've got turn 11. Alright, so now I can... I still want to keep an air transport generally in this area. Just to be safe, but I'm actually going to move it back over here. Actually, no way. Okay, I can push back up again. So the AI is definitely playing very cautiously. Because in my other games, by turn 12, this would be about 20 casualties, this would probably be like 6, and this is fairly accurate right here for blue, but it's not the case. So now I'm working on fighters. Actually, just gonna hold these guys, uh, pull, push up a little. I still haven't moved these guys a whole lot. I can move these ones over now because I don't have to worry about scouts. And these ones, I'll, I can leave this up here because sometimes they'll get too close up here and I can make a, a shot with the tank. Alright, let's... Now 
Now, I don't want to send my scouts in to make the initial uh, shot because they're, it's too far away. It's like, I, I, I know I mentioned the scouts are cannon fodder, but you don't want to just... You want them to effectively, you know, sacrifice themselves for a good reason, not just because you felt like it. And that's, this is, I guess that right there was the reason why you leave the tanks in those spots, so they can catch scouts off guard. But here's the assault gun horde I was mentioning. Here they start to come. Whoops. I'm not mean to do that. So to avoid doing what I just did, instead of clicking, uh, you know, like that, uh, hold shift, and that way you can see what it is, and then click there. Sorry, I forgot to, I didn't even misclick like that. I thought it could, I thought it clicked on him first. Air transport's down here. So one of the advantages they do have here is they do have a lot of speed. They have 16 instead of 12. Alright, I'm gonna move this back. But I like how up close most of them are so I can start doing this. Just move these ones down a little bit. Not too much, but like that. Alright, since most of them are committed uh, over there, I'm gonna start moving these tanks up. Look at this fighter down here. So when they send their fighters, I can shoot them down. I want to make sure I have like all the tanks over here used up first before I send my air transports to take care of them. All right. Okay, none of them could fire at me. Move the scouts back so they can keep uh, harassing. Move this one over here a little. Yeah, 
that's the missile crawler I meant to use for the scans. Although, when I've done this practice run more, I realize I don't ha need to use a missile crawler for the scanner, so I can just use the tanks. Although, if you can catch a scanner off ground with a scout, and then have an air transport with a missile crawler to safely kill it, you know, that's always a good thing. But I will mention that the, um, uh, scanner strategy isn't, you know, something you always have to, you know, go for, or whatever. They definitely seem less organized than the other attempt I've done. Because normally they have them, you know, more up, you know, they have them, like, all along. They're all just, like, shuffling them along a path. And all the scouts are just sitting in the water. And you can also use fighters to take down their air transports. It's always another good idea. Actually, should move these tanks around a little. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't need to. I'll just leave them in here because I've got all the units I need already down there. Oh, Timber, don't crap. Ah, my cat's out on my thing. <laughs> oh, I ended the turn. Whoops. So uh, this is what happens when your cat sits on your keyboard. Don't let your cat sit on your keyboard. Ugh. At least everything's okay. Also, you can do stuff like that, I guess. Actually, I recovered from my cat sitting on my keyboard and accidentally hit the, in or accidentally hit the entry key, I think. I'm trying to shoot my cat away. <laughs> no, my cat's a good cat. It was just... The cat was sleeping in front of the keyboard. And, as you can tell, bad things happened. So I guess another pro tip, not really pro tip, it sounds kind of pretentious, um, try not to have your pet step on your keyboard, if you can avoid it. I, I, now I'm deciding whether or not I want to leave the cat steps on my keyboard thing in. 
gonna sound really weird. Alright, so green's still coming. And I guess if some of you might be wondering, you know, what are their bases like if you, you know, take out the assaults and you push them back quite far. Um, they do have production. And they also have a lot of uh, defenses. So they have like missile turrets, you know, stuff like that in the way. So you wouldn't, in the, so in 30 turns, you wouldn't really be able to do much damage to their bases. So. It's not a whole lot, I guess you could do. I guess the best way to put it would be. I just want to take out these scouts so the enemy is not seeing me. Mostly just scouts right now. All of which can shoot. <laughs> So that's interesting, even after that whole little debacle right there. They still aren't really attacking much. Okay, so I'm not a reasonable number of casualties for them. But usually I have about 50 by the time I'm done. I think around 50. I want to say 40 would probably be a better number. Because blue hasn't really shown up. Green sometimes feels like it. There's an air transport. I'm gonna save my shots for my fighters because I can't one shot their um, air transports. I guess by asking when you when would you expect fighters? I would say probably maybe around at the earliest that I could think of, maybe turn eighteen or nineteen. But you'll see them definitely later in the uh, like twenty turns, like twenty, uh, probably twenty three to twenty eight more often, where they'll be targeting your air transports. And a good trick is if, if you have a, a fighter, like right, you know, right here for sentry, and they try to get your air transport, you know, so they're like over here or something, and they try going in, your fighter right here will shoot them down first. But I'm mostly just keeping an eye on them right now. But I did lose two extra tanks that I shouldn't have to the cat incident. <laughs> it sounds so bad when I put it that way. But no, this is my cat. Hit a key on my keyboard. So I guess at this point, I might actually think of a uh, editing out a lot of footage that I don't need to put in. Like, you know, like just in between turns that aren't really relevant to the mission strategy. You 
you know, like, all the filler turns where I basically hit end turn, you know, for five minutes straight. So that's the possibility I might consider. You know, actually editing for one time. But, um... Uh... No. It's definitely something I've thought of, because usually with these full playthroughs, I want to record, you know, all the turns, so in case something, you know, instant, uh, put them up on, you know, the internet, so that way if some people are wondering what some turns might look like, then you'll know. But, that might be more helpful for a guide style of video, rather than a full playthrough. Although sometimes if you know where to edit right, you can do it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to edit very well, so it's kind of why you don't really see it that often. Or especially when I first started, that I never really, like, I didn't have it, so I didn't know how to do it. But, um, so far everything's fine right now. Nothing's really happening. I can pretty much just hit end turn. And sometimes you'll have to watch out for the occasional attack on your northern complex. But otherwise, still pretty much almost stop attacking the research center once you kill most of their missile crawlers and assault guns. They'll pop up from time to time in smaller groups, but they won't be able to uh, get past your defenses. Yep, and 10 turn ten turns. Oh, here are their fighters. So this is what we want to keep an eye out for. Okay, so it looks like they've put a gold upgrade into their hits. Or it could be a research center, but... Yeah, you don't really know. Oop, there come their fighters. So if you do feel like you're gonna lose an air transport, I definitely would um, just put all the units down on the ground. just to be safe. Because if, you know, you don't have a landing pad, if you did go the constructor idea, you know, you don't have a... Uh, what is it? I lost my train of thought, actually. Oh yeah, you wouldn't have a landing engineer to build a landing pad so you can repair your air units. I know they have a scanner over here, there it is. But I don't know where that fighter is.
try to risk it. Oh, I can't reach. It's an interesting place to put a scanner. Alright, so I have a fighter to work around here. That's not the easiest thing to do. I can't put my air unit here because the tank's in the way. Not the tank, sorry, the connector's in the way. See, I can do this, but I couldn't put this here. So I'm in a bit of a tight spot. Mostly because I have to worry about um, the fighters. So I get too close and then you know, things get a bit bad. Because I know they have a fighter over here. Might lose that one. So hold on, I'm going to try something. Do that, and then that way I can move in. There, that should do it. As for these units, I'll wait for these fighters to get back over here. Well, it might be easier to sacrifice this one. Although I do have a bit of a pincer thing there. If I get close enough, I'll have to commit or leave. Oh yeah, I forgot to kill that scanner. If I never did anything with it. fighter. This is why kind of almost in this mission in a weird way you could probably avoid even building ground attack planes. And just once you get the air transports just keep building fighters. Oh, they can't shoot him. All right, that's good. And I can't really put a tank down because if I fire once with that tank, 
they all have the shots. So they'll kill it. Yeah, let's avoid that. Oh, they're all just right here. So they never really left, so to speak. I'm gonna reload over there. And I'm just gonna leave, so. Oh, there's an air transport up there, so they might be sending units up here. Yep. Do something interesting. Not too interesting though, but oops, I didn't mean to move that far. So I'll just put these tanks that I've sort of built up as security around the complex. So if they try to do anything, they won't be able to. Nope, nope, they dropped them over here. And those are missile crawlers because that wasn't a rocket launcher. I think that makes a different noise and it would splash damage onto this. Oh, they have an AWAC. They're getting bold. It's the first time I've seen an AWAC in these playthroughs, actually. Oh, it was a rocket launcher. So I guess it doesn't splash onto the building. It's right next to it. That's what it should do. It's weird. Okay, so it just was one rocket launcher. I don't know where it went. Well, you can stop that, I'm like manually loading. That's weird. There you go. Save that air transport. Never mind. 
So it looks like they're discharging me with tanks now. After the assault gun idea didn't work. ground attack plane that's not a big worry because they went after that and you know not the uh, air transports close Just send that back. Okay, fine. Go do that. Well, that's out of ammo. I'm actually running out of ammo on some of these things. right there actually was the mission so I guess there's some tips for a uh, sign off here uh, definitely use the air transport and the tank drops that will definitely be your way of defeating greens assault guns and blues missile crawlers um, for production tips you can get a missile crawler and use it to try to snipe scouts and scanners from the enemy but I wouldn't really build more than one you won't really need it you could if you want to, but it's not necessary. Uh, their units plan is definitely the main thing you want. Because that will give you the air transports you need. And that will also give you the fighters you need to protect your air transports. You could build a ground attack plane, I guess you could say for funsies or whatever, but I think like the second missile caller, you don't need it. You can use the tanks to do the same job, although you could use the ground attack plane to be a sort of flying tank if you want, but it's you know, not that bad. As for general defense, using the air transports and the tanks to land, take out assault guns, and then retreat, use tanks and scouts as cannon fodder slash meat shields when it's appropriate to you know don't just throw it out there because you thought it'd be a good idea uh, definitely do that for blue because if you get in too deep their missile crawlers in the back can just gun you down and they can just send the rest of the units up so like green can uh, i will admit this was a not a normal playthrough because usually green attacks way earlier than blue does usually by at least two to four turns Blue was almost the main aggressor. Green did send their assault like three assault guns, and then they kind of just hid for about eight turns, which I thought was really strange. Um, and then the obvious goal of making sure you keep the research center alive at all costs, and make sure you don't have a cat on your keyboard, so your recording doesn't mess up partway through. But um. <laughs> I guess that'll be it. So I guess as always, if you guys have any feedback, please let me know through the comments or messages. I definitely, I'm thinking about definitely trying to edit this a bit more with some of these missions where I don't need to have footage that that's not necessary in these full playthroughs. Although I think with harder missions, I'll need to leave everything in, especially with how this game's turn-based system functions. So 
that, that's a possibility I am considering, but uh, just, you know, let me know as usual, and as always, it's been Holder and I as a Weird, and I will see you guys next time.